In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this timeline section with this cool hover effects. And for its responsiveness, we're not going to use any media queries. I'm going to show you a little trick to get this responsiveness without using any media queries like this. So let's get into it. In my project folder, I have the background image. You can find the link in the description. If you're going to create a index.html file and a style.css, create the boilerplate. Let's give it a title. Link the style sheet. And let's open this up with live server. So we're gonna start with creating a wrapper. And inside this wrapper, you're gonna have a timeline row. And this row is gonna have two columns. Timeline column. And each of these columns is gonna have three cards. So let's create the first one. But first, we're gonna create a heading. Let's say education. And the second one is going to be experience. And we're gonna put some icons inside here. So let's go up to this website, box icons. You can find the link in the description. Click on usage. Scroll down a little bit and we're gonna copy this font. Paste it inside the head section. And let's look for the icons we need. So we're gonna use this one. Click on font, copy, and paste it inside this heading. And the other one. We're gonna use this one. Copy and paste it. And it looks like this now. So let's create the cards for the first column. Right under this header, we're gonna create a timeline box. And inside this box, we're gonna have three content box. First, we're gonna have the date. And now inside this content box, you can put your own information. I'm gonna use some made up information inside. And we're also gonna need one more icon inside this date so let's go into box icons again you're gonna use this calendar icon copy and paste it inside this date and under this div I'm gonna create a h3 for another information a paragraph tag for a lorem text and basically we are going to copy and paste this for two more times And we are basically going to do the same thing for the other column. So this was the first one. Under this heading, we're going to create one more timeline box. And inside this timeline box, we're going to have three more content boxes. So let's copy and paste the ones we already created. Let's paste it inside timeline box. So let's change some information here. And we are done with the HTML and now we can style it. So let's start with resetting margin and padding. Box sizing to border box and use whatever font you want. I'm going to use poppins. And we're gonna set the background image. We're gonna center it, no repeat, and background size cover to make it cover the page. All the text is going to be white, so let's put color white inside here. And the timeline wrapper, we're gonna make it cover the whole page. Minimum height 100 VH. Let's center everything using flexbox. 
and we're gonna use some padding in here so 2 ram 12% and 2 ram so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so we can see it better so we have 2 REM space at the top and 2 REM space at the bottom and 12% is for the sides so if I increase this it is going to get narrow and if I increase this there is going to be more padding at the top and same with the bottom and the timeline row I'm gonna set it to display grid and now this is where I'm gonna show you the trick so we're gonna create some columns but we're gonna use out of it so let me actually write this down and I'm gonna explain how it works when we finish because we're not going to be able to see how it works right now and let's style the heading as well I'm going to increase the font size create some space at the top and the bottom let's center the text and the icon using flexbox align item center and we're going to put some space between them and let's make the icon bigger as well and let's style the content box so we're gonna use display flex and when you use display flex automatically everything inside gets side by side because the flex direction is row by default and we're gonna change it by using flex direction column and we're gonna put some space between the text to rem of padding and some margin on the sides and the background color i'm gonna copy and paste some colors if you want to use the same colors just pause the video and type down the same and to create that glass effect we're gonna use backdrop filter and we're gonna have three pixel of border as well a little border radius increase the font size and for the hover effect to make it slower you're gonna have transition 0.4 seconds ease and cursor pointer and let's create the hover effect you're gonna have this box shadow with this nice blue color and this gray border is going to turn into this blue color as well so let's see there you go so we need some space between these cards and we're gonna select timeline box and we're gonna use display flex again change the flex direction to column and we're gonna use gap to rem to put some space between them and we're also gonna use this timeline box div to create that border on the left let's make it 5 pixels like this and let's also make this h3 text bigger and let's make the date bigger as well and change the color to this blue color increase the font weight and the only thing left is to create that dots on the line so we're gonna use a pseudo element for that we're gonna say position absolute and content is going to be empty with 25 height 25 and background color is going to be that blue again I think yeah in this content box I'm gonna make it position relative so this element is going to be positioned relative to this box and let's make it a circle and we're gonna move it towards left and we're gonna bring it down a little so we are done with this styling so let's see about this responsiveness as you can see 
we don't have any media queries, but we have the responsiveness. And the reason for that is, when you use autofit, the browser basically calculates that how many columns can fit inside the viewport and you don't have to define it on your own like one columns two columns basically automatically decides how many columns is going to fit and min max is basically to define the minimum size and the maximum size of these cards so the cards are going to have the maximum size of one fraction and the minimum size of 300 pixels and this is how you create a responsive timeline section without using any media queries thank you guys for watching and see you next time